The pre-step to step number five, the hold. Put the buyer on a brief hold or just cup the phone. This gives you a chance to collect your thoughts. This gives you a chance to check on something real quick if you need to. And the way that you set this up is like this. Okay, great. Uh, got your email, got your phone number. Um, looks like I have everything here. Actually, can you give me one second? I, I could probably check on this for you real quick. Can you hold? And just utilize a brief hold. You don't wanna go much longer than five, 10, 15 seconds max. Let's take a look and see how this feels. Ready and hold. Doesn't that feel like a long time? That is enough time to check on something real quick. Pop back off the hold and then set the appointment. Step number five, setting up for the appointment. When I'm doing live seminars, I always like to ask people when I'm teaching inbound calls, hey, would you ever let somebody leave without asking them to buy a car? And even though a lot of times people do let people leave without asking them to buy a car, the whole room always goes, no, 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 I would never do that. So if you believe you should ask everybody that walks into the dealership to buy a car, then you should also believe that you should never hang up the phone without asking for an appointment. Just ask them, even if you don't have the vehicle. This is why you expand the inventory. This is why you ask them what they're driving now. This is why you get them excited about potentially trading in their current vehicle. If you don't have what they want, you don't have anything like it, and they don't have a trade-in, you can still ask them to come into the dealership with this question. You, you don't have to buy a vehicle today, do you? Uh, no, no, I don't have to buy it today. I was hoping to get it soon though, and I was hoping you had one. Okay, great. The vehicle you called in on is kind of tough to get, as you know, and I'm looking at our inventory right now. It looks like we could probably get something for you. What I'd like you to do is to come down to the dealership. Let's jump on the computer. Let's see what we have coming in. And you know, worst case scenario, we'll just have to find you one. Can you come in today or tomorrow? Just ask for the appointment. Just ask them. Maybe they'll go, oh, okay. And they'll come down to the dealership. And guess what? When they come in, you give them first class service, a big smile. You go to the computer, you start looking around. They find out it's gonna take three months for that vehicle to come in and they fall in love with something else that's at your dealership. It happens all the time. Never hang up the phone without asking for an appointment. Now let's say you have the vehicle, you have something similar and they got a trade in. This makes it so much easier. When would be a good time for you to come out and take a look at drive? This afternoon or this evening? This morning or this afternoon? Throw out a couple different choices because they pick one. Uh, probably more like this afternoon. Okay, awesome. Let me grab my book real quick. I wanna make sure I'm available for you and I wanna make sure our appraiser's available too. Is something like, like two o'clock, four o'clock? What's better for you? Uh, I probably can't come in until I'm off work. so. Probably like six. Okay, perfect, six. Now, one of the classic techniques in sales is if somebody tells you six o'clock to adjust the time to a quarter hour to either 5.45 or 6.15, 6.15 or 6.45. Use your best judgment when you do this. If you are going to adjust the time up by 15 minutes, Make sure that you give the buyer a reason, and the reason could be something like this. Okay, so six o'clock. Uh, would you be okay with 6.15? I wanna make sure my appraiser is available to take a look at your vehicle, and it looks like they have something at 5.30. Give the buyer a reason. Don't bump it by 15 minutes arbitrarily. Give them a reason on why you are doing it. Now you wanna lock down the appointment. Okay, fantastic. So we're all set for 6.15 this afternoon. Do you know where the dealership is located? Whether they say yes or no, you wanna let them know that you're gonna 
be available for them and let them know what they're gonna see when they come in. Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna text you if it's good with you, my contact information and a map to the dealership directions. So you can just click it and you'll have it right there. I'll text you all my contact information. You can text them exactly where to go, who to see, or you could obviously email it to them. And then you can say something like this. My name is Kyle. I'll put that in the text message as well. Today I'm wearing a light blue shirt. I got a dark blue suit on. When you pull in right on the left hand side, I'm going to be standing there in the appraisal area. I'll be waiting for you at 615. And will you do me a favor? Oh yeah, sure. Well, what is it? If you're running late or if you need to come a few minutes early, no big deal at all. Just give me a call and I'll make sure and do the same for you should something happen on, on our end. I, I don't see anything, but in case something does happen and I'm going to make sure I'm available. I'm going to make sure the vehicle's available and I'm going to make sure our appraiser's ready for you. 6.15, I'll be right there. Why do you do this? Because it makes the appointment feel real. You've just locked it down. If you were going to go see somebody, if I was going to go see somebody and they told me they were going to be standing outside waiting for me at 6.15, that they were gonna have their manager available, that they were gonna have the product available. If I wasn't planning on coming down, it would be almost impossible for me not to tell the person right then. And if they tell you, oh, don't go to all that trouble, you know, there's a good chance I don't come down, at least now you know. And in this case, just give the buyer some reassurance. I'll have you set up for 615. I'll have everything available to you. Don't worry, this is my job and I love doing it. I do this all day, every day. So if you're coming early or late, like I said, or if something comes up, just call me and we'll just reschedule. I got you set for 6.15 though. Don't worry about it one bit and take the appointment.